it's me. And today we're going Karen hunting. Part two. If you guys haven't seen part one, I will link it below. So this was in a Starbucks. This Karen was on her phone and someone told her not to talk on her phone. You said to finish the phone call. You said to hang up the phone call. I hung up the phone call. I think she's broken. She's glitching. Someone shut her off. I did that. I did what she said. I did what she said. What did we learn here today? She hung up the phone call. I hung up the phone call. She did what she said. I did what she said. She hung up the phone call. I hung up the phone call. Okay. And the amount of patience these people have. I'm surprised nobody like. Boom. Nice one in the jaw. I'll show you how to hang up a phone call. Yo, I got one of these one time, except to put the rocks in. Can you please get back six feet? Oh, my bad. Thank my, you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guilty. To be honest, I like the six feet rule. I love it. I love people away from me. I love going out in public with a hat, sunglasses, and a mask. Y'all don't even see my face. When I was waiting in line at the grocery store, you have to stand six feet apart. And then some girl came up right behind me. Boom. I looked back at her. She didn't move back. I looked back at her again. I was like, uh, you gotta stand on the... God, I felt like such a Karen, but... I what I had to do. Back up. Sniper Wolf will be roasting Karens now. Just to end up being one in 10 years. You have become the very thing you swore to destroy. This Karen was very upset that this couple kissed while waiting for their food. Then leave. Why are you here? You have your food. We are waiting for you to finish up, so we're chatting. You're a heinous person. You're cool. I'm not getting paid. How can you move out <laughs> while here in front of everyone? Like, okay. so you have any manners? Can you just finish up your transaction? We'll order and we can Why both move on. Leave? Oh my god. You're really escalating Why this. Don't you leave? I would just like to order well, you and then we'll leave. You shouldn't be here. You're a s. We'll get a hotel room and somewhere else. Oh my this god. Is I can't wait till this hits YouTube. I can't wait to report you to the police. <laughs> I can't wait to report you to the police for making out while waiting to order. Bro, this ain't a Disney movie. Karen, are things good at home? She really be escalating this for no reason. All because she saw them kissing. Like, just give them a nasty look and look the other way. Why are you gonna call them out? You just making yourself look dumb. Or he used the force. <laughs> You got a manager in here? You a manager? Okay, I want to stay this far apart for safety reasons. How is this an essential business? Why are you open? Well, we've had customers tell us that uh, we are helping them to stay insane or to stay sane during this time. So, but are, are you not putting employees at risk? I mean, I would just walk by the counters. Customers and workers are less than six feet apart. How is this helping social distancing? Actually, Hobby Lobby says they're doing what our governor's state bus state says to me. Mm -hmm. As of right now, our governor... He, he issued a suggestion. This, the mayor of Cleveland issued a suggestion. But it has not been made yet. So, so you're going to put money ahead of lives. Ma'am, I just come to work when I'm called to. <laughs> Karen, I have a question. What are you doing? She's gonna leave her house. Go to a place that's open. Hmm, wait, why are you open? What makes you an essential business? First of all, I don't see masks on none of y'all. None of y'all employees? Karen, I could basically hear the spit sprinkling my earlobe when you speak. So I'm pretty sure you don't even have a mask either. Like, you just left your house to pick a fight at Hobby Lobby. Where's the logic? I like how she recorded this whole interaction and still posted it on Facebook like, I did something. 911, what's your emergency? Please, you need to send help out here right now. Okay, ma'am, calm down. I need you to tell me what's going on. It's the neighbors. They have company, and they have 11 people. I counted, there's 11, not 10. Okay, I need you to stay inside. Stay calm. I cannot send anyone out, though. That would be 12. <laughs> Man, biggest crime in 2020. They have 11 people over. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Calm down. Get 
our stuff. How dare you! I'm trying to do my mother a favor and you're too stupid to figure an address in New York! I can't believe you have a job here! Let me get this straight. She walks into a post office. I I'm gonna send something to my mom, but I don't know the address. But you are stupid for not knowing where my mother lives. <laughs> but are you serious? You gonna get mad at them for not having the address, which you're supposed to have when you go to the post office. That's like going to McDonald's and ordering some spaghetti. We don't even have this here. So in this apartment building, Karen wanted the entire common area to herself. So she brings her chair and sees that someone's already here and wants to start a problem. Yes, I'm serious. Are you serious? What's your problem? You my problem. I'm just laying here minding my own business. Back off over there. See where it says on your side? No, nope. it doesn't say sh This is a common it's area. It's not. If you hit me, I'm calling the police for assault. Call the cops. Okay. Child. Have your property managers been in touch with you? Yeah, they think you guys are nuts. So are you just going to disregard? Dude, yeah, this is, they didn't tell me to do anything. They said to ignore you. This is you. not a common area. Yes, it is. It is not. Yes, it is. That's your common area. So basically, she's trying to convince this girl that, nah, that's a common area. No, no, this whole area is. How are you gonna fight for property when you don't even own the property? This guy walked into the office when I was there, and now here he is parked out here, right? Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's stalking you about You. What? <laughs> laugh some more. Do it. <laughs> it's okay, laugh some more. But who is this guy? Just coming to my house every single day? Dropping off packages? Bro, he's the mailman. You're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say you to the camera that you're not stalking me. I am not stalking you. Okay. I don't even know who you are. Is that right? That's right. You want to give your name? I do not need to. You want to give me yours? You want to give me yours? Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no idea who you are, lady. So, you know, you're dreaming. You think I'm stalking you. Good luck with that. Well, Keep talking, why don't you? You don't get paid enough to deal with this. I feel so bad for this dude. Like some crazy lady up in your face like, stop stalking me. Here is the Gestapo right here that has to, you, you have to have a mask on. I have the right to not wear a mask in America because I'm an American citizen. They wiped down the cart. I said, no, I don't want my cart wiped down. Most of the micro, uh, I don't even know what they're called, microns or whatever, they go right through the mask. She don't even know how it works. I don't even know how COVID works, but you know, we in America, we don't have to wear masks. Here. I want to see all of these people go. I want to see natural selection do its thing. So basically, Karen doesn't want to stand in line at a grocery store. Bro, if I can stand in line 20, 30 minutes to get into a Trader Joe's, you can do the same. It drives me insane seeing all these sick people. Like, they be coughing. And it's only the people who don't wear a mask. If you know how masks work, it's the most effective when an actual sick person is wearing a mask. You know, some people just don't care about themselves and be like, oh, I don't care. I'm not going to wear a mask. But you got to think about if you have older people who are more at risk that you love and don't want to get sick, you know? You got to think about those people. She's, she's not going to do it. They're coming. No, I'm saying I'm refusing. I don't want to put my mask on. It's, why? Shame on all of you for, for, for quit attacking me. I have a right to my own opinion. Respect that I'm a customer in your store. I actually had this and I said, no, I'm not going to put it on. I'm not going to do this why you literally have a mask on just put it on and shut up land of the free land of the free yeah land of the free but i can't drive 100 on the highway land of the free but these people can't knock Ooh. the dumb out of you karen she started it she goes i don't know what a signal is you don't know what a signal is yeah you kick me what was that where was the kick she literally went like boom did you kick me like if that was not a kick. You kick me, I'll take those glasses off your face and shove them through. <laughs> That's what you do when you have a signal. You, you see a signal? You see a signal? It's called, you use it. Oh, are you going to take me? Take me, I don't care. Take me all you want. I'm going to call 911. And I'm going to tell them that she kicked me. There we go. You kicked me. I'm calling 911 and I'm going to have you charge me. Yeah, I'm going to call 911 because she didn't use her signal. Yeah, you're going to get charged for wasting their time. Arrested. Police arrest this man. He's 
Uh, hello? Popo? Where y'all at? Why aren't they answering? <laughs> oh, she's sick and tired of waiting for her McDonald's order that she got out of her car. You've unlocked the spit sauce. I've actually done this before. So at Starbucks, I waited a good 15 minutes for them to mess up my order. So then I tried my drink. After waiting 15 minutes, maybe 20, I paid six dollars for that drink. And I got out of my car. I went back to the window. I'm like, y'all did this wrong. And then they're like, no, we did exactly what you asked for. I'm like, no, you didn't. I said, a splash of lemonade. They done did half the thing of lemonade. No, sir. They remade it. It was like, Starbucks always be messing up my drinks. She wild and I'm telling you. Somebody, somebody come get Karen. She did the same thing to me outside. Is this what Cardi B meant by buffalo back? <laughs> she wild and I'm telling you. Somebody, somebody come get Karen. She did the same thing to me outside. I will never understand how people would just go in and disrespect people who are handling their food. That's like number one rules of the land. Never disrespect somebody who's handling your food. If you have something to say, say it after. Like it's gonna be real easy to put that mask down and. <laughs> But anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed and want a part three, make sure you hit that like button the <laughs> And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.